Corsica, often known as the Isle of Beauty, is not merely a destination. It's a grand canvas where nature has liberally applied its most vibrant colors and textures. Calvi claims to be the birthplace of Christopher Columbus, and its majesty is not just tied to this claim. A stunning marina reflecting bright yacht lights and cafes invites travelers upon arrival, but it's the medieval citadel that truly captivates. The citadel, mounted on a promontory overlooking the town, tells a story of sieges and battles that helped shape the island. Its labyrinth of cobbled streets provides not just a walk, but a journey through time. At the highest point, the view opens up to a panorama of the Mediterranean, framing the marina in a near mythical light. Visiting recommendations include walking the city's ancient walls during late afternoon, when the golden sun casts shadows enhancing its dramatic flair, followed by a seafront dinner catching the fresh breeze. Accessible only by boat, the Scandala Nature Reserve is an epitome of untouched natural beauty. Its volcanic origins have sculpted striking formations, and the clear waters allow snorkelers to observe an array of marine life close to the surface. A boat trip around Scandala feels like navigating through an artist's impression of the world. Here, nature has flung its splendor with abandon. Sheer cliffs, hidden coves, and all shades of the sea create a symphony of colors and shapes. For those planning a visit, charter a small boat from Porto or Galleria for an intimate experience, preferably in the early morning or late afternoon to avoid the crowds and full sun. Where the land dramatically meets the sea stands Bonifacio, carved out of limestone cliffs by the winds and waves of time. This city's dramatic position makes it one of Corsica's most visually arresting sights. A stroll along Monte Saint Roche punctuates views of the narrow strait between Corsica and Sardinia, known for dangerous sea currents. The upper town buzzes with the history of its Genoese past and descends into splendid chaos during summer months due to tourist influx. Adventurous visitors might explore down the Escalier du Roi d'Aragon, King of Aragon's Steps, carved steeply into the cliff, an enduring feat that both muscles and minds appreciate. Cap Corse, this slender finger of land pointing towards the Genoese past and French present, is a complex tapestry of blue seas, green maquis, and villages clinging to cliffs. Touring Cap Corse is best done by car, with frequent stops at small ports like Centuri, a haven for seafood lovers, and Nonza, celebrated for its gray pebble beach and panoramic views. For those inclined towards hiking, the coastal path from Macinaggio to Barcaggio presents spectacular scenery and sometimes the opportunity to watch the majestic flight of a red kite. As the birthplace of Napoleon Bonaparte, Ajaccio wears its imperial legacy with pride, yet the city is as refreshing as a dip in its turquoise waters, offering both a doorway to history and the relaxed rhythms of island life. While the Bonaparte house is a draw, the real charm of Ajaccio unfolds along its vibrant market streets, Cor Napoleon and Rue Fesch. Here the past converges with the present among the busy stalls and cafes under sun-speckled terraces. A visit to the Fesch Museum, home to one of France's most significant collections of Italian paintings, concludes any tour majestically, echoing both historical reverence and cultural passion. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Like cathedral spires crafted by nature's own architect, the Bavella needles pierce the sky with sharp points clad in deep green. This mountain range is a siren call to hikers and nature lovers, offering paths that journey through the heart of Corsica's highland beauty. For all its rugged nature, Bavella is approachable. Trails of varying difficulties from leisurely walks to challenging treks offer panoramic views. Visiting during the change of seasons, particularly autumn, offers a canvas painted with vibrant golds and russets, a fiery contrast to the evergreen maquis. For an enriched experience, consider a guided hike to learn about the local flora and fauna and the myths that surround these mystical mountains. Court, once the capital of Corsica during its brief period of independence, still feels like the island's spirited heart. Nested in the imposing central highlands, this town is not just a gateway to the island's rugged interior, but also a bastion of Corsican culture. The university here breathes young blood into ancient streets where echoes of resistance and pride linger in the air. The Musée de la Corse further deepens this understanding, detailing the island's anthropological, cultural, and natural historical narratives. For those who venture into its landscapes, the Ristonica and Tavignano Valleys offer splendid hiking opportunities, lush with rich pine forests and dramatic gorges. Carved into sheer red granite cliffs, the Calanches di Piana are an otherworldly landscape of stone sculptures and labyrinthine pathways, offering one of the most dramatic drives in Europe. Navigating through these rocky giants during sunset transforms the experience into an almost supernatural event. The rocks, blazed red and orange under the fading sun, create a surreal setting that has inspired artists and dreamers throughout the ages. A walk through these rocks reveals natural formations that resemble animals and mythic figures. 
one might see the heart of Corsica beating within these ancient stones. For the best experience, explore these formations on foot, following the marked trails, but ensure to bring comfortable hiking shoes and plenty of water. Lyle Rus, named for its red islands, presents a softer side of Corsican ruggedness. This charming town balances between grand old buildings and sunny beaches, offering an idyllic setting for relaxation and leisure. Its market square, filled with age-old plane trees, invites visitors to enjoy leisurely coffee mornings, while the surrounding beaches provide sandy retreats for sunbathers. The lighthouse at the Pietra Peninsula offers a picturesque sunset spot, ideal for ending a day's explorations in ruminative contentment. For travelers interested in local history, the old train station part of the Trinitello Little Train connecting coastal towns is a not-to-be-missed sight, providing a picturesque journey through Corsican landscapes. No visit to Corsica is complete without immersion in its vibrant festival scene. These cultural festivals showcase everything from traditional Corsican polyphony to modern jazz, reflecting the island's rich and diverse cultural tapestry. Small villages often host these events in their quaint squares, with locals and tourists alike drawn into the late-night celebrations. From the Festivote in Pigna that celebrates the voice in all its forms, to the jazz-fueled nights of Calvi on the Rocks, these festivals are not just entertainment, but a profound glimpse into the heart of Corsican culture. For those planning their trip around these events, it is advisable to book accommodations early, as these festivals are a major draw and truly showcase the soul of the island, imbuing a lasting connection with all who partake.